in our previous video we have discussed the two different parts like the chapters which are covered in the CBSE book what are we supposed to prepare for a board examinations and today in my lecture we are going to see the part 2 textbook that is organic and let us pick up the first chapter that is haloalkanes haloarenes so before i go to the haloalkanes that is chapter 1 of organic chemistry first let me see for my board preparation what topics should i stretch or the topics to be covered for the board examinations so what are the topics to be covered in organic chemistry because our preparation for organic would be different our preparation for physical would be different the reasoning questions which we do for inorganic would be different so what are the topics what i should remember before i go for my board examinations so topics to be covered in organic chemistry so let me first speak about this in organic chemistry for a grade 12 syllabus board specifically stresses or it's going to question you on different topics mentioned up below let's see it's going to question you in organic chemistry one question which comes from nomenclature remember you have to learn nomenclature for all the chapters which are prescribed in the syllabus a question this particular nomenclature after this a question will be given to you how in what basis let us see after nomenclature there is a question which is asked on increasing or decreasing order of trends decreasing order of trends what do i mean by this decreasing or increasing of the order of trends in trends when i say trends that particular word includes they may ask me based on their melting point but may question us based on their melting point it may question me based on their boiling point it can ask or question me based on their acidic strengths a question may be asked based on basic strengths a question may be asked about or if i say the physical states or okay let me write that physical states okay well, why is this higher than that why is it in the crystal lattice form in that way it, different different sorts of questions will be asked there are questions which are basically stressed on mechanisms this particular question mechanisms of name reactions mechanisms of name reactions i write name reactions as rx that should not be a problem for you all so mechanism of name reactions basically we have almost 71 name reactions in our ncrt or the cbse book prescribed for us for grade 12 you should know the mechanisms of each and every name reaction most of them would be basis or the 11th class would be a basic for that after mechanisms you will be questioned about distinguishing tests very very important this is very important for your examination point of view distinguishing tests this is again distinguishing tests suppose they ask me differentiate between alcohols and this one acids distinguish between aldehydes and ketones distinguish between this particular halo alkanes and halo arenes. so you should be in, that's basically a practical oriented question you should be very keen enough while doing your practical uh, experiments so that you will be able to answer this distinguishing test you will be questioned so let us mark this also star this also is an important question for you all so when i speak about now i've done with nomenclature i've done with the trends i've done with the mechanisms of name reactions i've done with the distinguishing test then there is one more question very important called complete the following so complete the following is a basic or the most important question given to us for example let me see i have a reactant a then i am i'll be given this particular arrow i'll be given or a question mark on this and they just write the react product p both the reactant would be given here product would be given here but they will be asked or you will be questioned to find out what is this in what basis is this react reagent which reagent is acting so that i get this product so this may be extended they'll be giving a question mark here and product will be given in some cases the re reagent will be given to you and product will be questioned to you so at every stage of this particular reaction you should have a clear idea whether should which reagent should i use here what is the product and further what should be the reagent after complete the following reaction this is again a very important thing to remember after completing the name uh, reactions there is one more slot called name reactions 
name reactions would be directly asked or they'll be directly given to you the name of the name for let us take one example basic thing if they, if they ask me what's reaction simple I'll just first the question is directly given to me I have to start with the definition I write the reaction and I'll name the reactants in products this is a direct question which is easy for us to practice after that in your name organic chemistry very important as I say next important thing is conversions very very important conversions have is one converted to the other one compound converted to the other so these conversions are carried step by step in conversions also there are two things which you should remember conversions can be directly question what it can be two step conversion it can be that it can be three step conversion and it can be more than three so it can be greater than three step conversion also you will be questioned like this convert the following from so and so either by two step either by three step either by greater than three steps so these are the different topics if i say every topic of ncrt should be written practiced on daily basis so that you are covering all these concepts all your chapters of organic will be based on these thank you so much for watching let us meet in the next video